few hours. This is the ferry view for the avenue. I am uh, Freddy Kidungu uh, from Kenyatta Road, uh, Super Highway Estate. Uh, today I'm frogging from uh, uh, ferry view for the avenue. It's a wonderful estate. Uh, it's forested for uh, estate. And it's among those first ones which uh, were developed here many years back. But uh, I will talk to one of our uh, residents here who will give us uh, some kind of a history of this place. Uh, when it was started and how it is now. Uh, wherever you are, my friends, I wish you all the best. I love you. This is morning in Kenya. Uh, we have come back uh, uh, to work because uh, it, it was a long holiday in December. Now at the part of January, people are busy going back to work. And um, this is one of the estates uh, that I want to see how, what it is. But from the gate, it looks to be wonderful. Uh, it's like a place where we call where the rich hide. We have got a road in front of us here. That's why that kind of noise that you hear motorbikes all border border, as we call them here, rushing to get passengers across the river or in the other islands near this estate here. Uh, thank you for following me. I'm excited that you keep on following my videos, liking, and, and you're also sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Please keep, keep doing so. I'm happy and excited. I pray that God bless you this year, 2024. That your dream come to be. That whatever you have been praying for, it will be fulfilled this year. And at the end of the year, you have something to say thank you. Also, I wish you good health, happiness, and joy. I am Freddy Kidungu once again from Super Highway Estate, Kenyatta Road, Juja, Kenya, Africa. Uh, follow me, my friends, as I show you more about this estate. Hope you like it. And by your comments, I'll try to do what you say. Please come comment. I take any comments. Whatever it, whatever it is, I will never get anybody. Uh, I'll blame anybody for commenting uh, according to whatever they feel or they think. And I will improve. There are those who are telling me to, do, to continue doing good work. Thank you, my friends. Thank you, wherever you are. And uh, there are those who have suggested one or two things. I've implemented it. Uh, so I love you guys, wherever you are. Uh, please introduce me to our friends. Share my 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 videos to your friends, your relatives, wherever you are. I love you guys because I can see United States has come very big. The uh, UK has also joined. Joined. I'm going. To, I'm going to, uh, I'm waiting to see this this year how many other countries will be able to be significant number to be identified by YouTube because there is about 40 or so percent not designated to any country or to any region. But I can tell from Asia they are seeing me, Middle East they are seeing me, uh, Caribbeans. Uh, South America, they are doing it. Canada, I'm sure they're also doing it. They are seeing it. So please, wherever you are, you are my friends. Even without liking, following, sharing, or subscribing, you are still my friend. Don't feel obliged to do it. 
<laughs> I love you to do it, but don't feel obliged. And as I told you earlier, uh, subscription is free. Nothing will be charged out of you or yourself. It won't be a kind, a kind gesture you, you have extended to me by subscribing. And that, as I told you earlier, I'm on the road to a thousand and beyond. And I believe it will happen. It will happen. I started with nothing four months, three months ago. And now I can see the number of subscribers is increasing every day. <laughs> Even the number of the people viewing is increasing every day. I love you guys. I love you people. I'm excited. The youth are seeing me in a big way. The age between uh, 18 and, uh, uh, and 35, they are very many. They are very many. They are very many. And even those between uh, 35 and 45, ours are very many. In fact, between from 18 to 45, they, 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 form, they are more than 50%. I'm not despising others. Uh, it, was, it, used, it used to be only those people in the 50s and above who are seeing, but now I can see. The youth have joined. Most information I'm giving is good for them. They are the people who need to invest. They are people to know where the properties are, the what is what's the trading in the world, so that uh, they will not make mistakes done by people earlier who not get information. But with this information, you be able to plan your life, you be able to see opportunities. Maybe you are in a country where things don't move at all, where you have lost hope. Kenya is a land of opportunities. From first January. You come to Kenya visa free, no visa requirements. Unless you have got issues which may, may prevent you from coming in, you are free to come in. Intermingle, mingle with the Kenyans. Do what? Invest. Stay here. Do what you can do because many universities develop it. The infrastructure is, is beautiful, it's nice. Welcome, my friends. Follow me in my vlog. Thank you, thank you. Keep on following me. You'll be blessed. We shall be blessed together. Uh, come along. Uh, the very few has really uh, showed me there is a good development in Kenyatta Road that I did not know of. Uh, because uh, I am at the entrance to Kenyatta Road, near the road, so, uh, in most times we don't come this side, but uh, I'm surprised it is uh, well developed, it's nice. Uh, they have got very good spaces, they have got quiet places here, so serene and quiet. Uh, you live very quiet life here, it's well developed. So please my friends, uh, wherever you are, this is morning in Kenya, I love you all. Uh, continue following me. I am happy that you have uh, seen me and seen this vlog. Uh, this, is a, this is a place uh, belonging to a friend of mine. I had told him I'll come here and talk to him. Uh, I say something small about this estate, how he came here. I hope uh, I'll be able to talk to him later as I continue vlogging. Uh, so my friends, uh, this is the very few, and as you can see it, uh, it is also forested but not like uh, I saw in the third avenue, uh, there's uh, seem to have more development, uh, many places have been developed. And as you can see, they came here early. Uh, the style of the houses can tell you most of them are bungalows. Uh, those, here, those, those are houses which were, uh, were in fashion or what they could afford. Uh, because buying a small land, piece of land, meaning uh, that's what you could afford. But uh, surprisingly, many of them bought uh, several plots uh, which they have developed. Uh, it seems as if it has got uh, 
a few undeveloped plots like the one we are seeing here uh, but opposite it we are seeing the uh, developed houses and uh, the type of developing they have done uh, here they seem to be rearing chicken and uh, the styles are telling you the age when they were constructed uh, as usual we are coming across avocado avocado tree uh, with the fruits with avocado fruits uh, as you can see there uh, those avocado trees avocado fruits are growing here in a big number uh, they are doing well as you can see see them how they are uh, we have got uh, a new development here uh, this is a uh, a flat roof coming up here and it's stylic hey it is got good style uh, the sun cannot let us see it well but it is beautiful uh, it's uh, got a very good style uh, let's see it from a different angle so that we can be able to see it uh, that's the house uh, the one person has got a good style and good design I, I I hope I wish I'll come when it's completed because it looks very good. Uh, again, you can see a uh, plantation of banana in this compound here. You can see a big bunch of banana, huge bunch of banana here. There's a big bunch of bananas, a banana fruits. Uh, old, an older style of building uh, which was like this in stairs uh, here there is uh, another one of those ears but not yet completed owner could have had other plants or, or lived in it the way it is to complete this later uh, the house with that uh, with the upcoming building uh, now we can see it better there. Uh, seem to be having a big compound. Seem to be having a big compound here. It's a big compound. Um, I undeveloped, undeveloped uh, property here, as you can see it. Uh, this is again a good developed house this this a modern one later on these are people who bought uh, this plot kept them and they seem to be or maybe most likely they are buying from the people who bought them earlier uh, because i can see there are uh, several several gates in that one means different people bought it and as you can see it you can see it there and uh, few compact outside uh, signifying the, the, the less co security concern here because the place is well kept uh, well secured again uh, you can see this type of the kind of building were built those years when there were no control of whatever you build here uh, it was able to build their own there uh, that one uh, inside their bungalow and then build this one for rental as it looks like uh, those here before the control uh, uh, was was instituted to what you can de develop here or not develop uh, that's another one which just came later on beautiful gates uh, as you can see it has got a beautiful gate uh, well shaded from rain so when you are opening the gate you not be they will not fall on you another development coming there but seems to be our house is settled uh, uh, the road here again is seem to be bigger and they have got uh, the planted base uh, and developed plot here uh, so an undeveloped uh, plot uh, but there seem to be very few of them here 
Uh, this again is a fence well kept. Uh, the owner has made it a garden, and uh, because there is nothing which interfere with whatever they are, they do with their compound or outside their compound. I've got bananas. Uh, again, uh, the the neighbor here is is uh, growing flowers on his own. Beautiful flowers. Beautiful flowers here, the alal. As you can see, uh, some of them are the carpet, carpet flower, the carpet flowers there, beautiful ones, beautiful ones, beautiful as you can see them, and the uh, cypress tree. Uh, you can see another undeveloped uh, property here, but the one owner is uh, growing maize, or maybe the neighbors, and the maize are doing very well. Uh, maize, uh, maize, uh, Meats are, uh, are mature, waiting to be harvested. Birds really had a feast on them. You can see the birds had feast on them. Uh, they are, they are uh, also uh, on the ground, the beans. Uh, the beans are doing fine there. Yeah. They are waiting to be harvested. Oh, this is wonderful production. You can see mature beans, they are dry. Uh, they, are waiting, they are waiting to be harvested. Uh, these are beans, uh, and, and there are very many. There are very many beans here, waiting to be harvested. Of course, this shamba here. Ah, oh, now another wonderful, wonderful development here. Beautiful, beautiful houses here, beautiful fence. Oh, oh, wonderful, it is wonderful, it's nice. And here we come to the last one, uh, where he has got his gate. He's building his gate well there, and um, as usual, uh, this was uh, the 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 door which was taking them across to the other place, but now uh, they have crossed it. Those people use their own road, not this one. Uh, this is still uh, the far view. Uh, how it looks like. The vehicle was parked outside, as you can see. And uh, see from one side to the next side. I'm at the middle of it now. I've covered the rest. And as you can see, they have got an undeveloped plots here, uh, which uh, a farming is taking place. I see. Uh, the farming is taking place. Here I can see a lot of uh, mangoes. They have not produced or people have consumed them. And uh, mature trees, as you can see in this estate of that avenue, far a few. And uh, they, are, they are well connected because there was a road there and another one here connecting them. Uh, because this was designed as a, a business area, so it has roads, that one, and another one going going down, and another one coming across there. These are, these are commercial plots, and you can see the kind of uh, trees they developed. Uh, they are mature trees, the spine trees, family of fine trees, and they are mature. Uh, Fioko again indicating the level of, of security here. Uh, they have done a lot of mixed farming here, in this farm. Uh, the kind of building that uh, they put up those years, uh, there was no control then, and uh, people uh, developed uh, the houses where they could even rent out, but now that has been stopped for the new development. So viewers, <coughs> at that avenue, very few, uh, it is uh, not as developed like uh, the. Uh, this is the fourth avenue. Sorry, it's not as developed as uh, the third avenue, as you can see it. Uh, but uh, all the, all the same, I, I mean uh, the type of uh, the buildings, the type of the vegetation they have grown here. But otherwise, this uh, is a. It's a place where I, I think almost three quarter, three quarter, uh, or two that has been developed. 
Only a small bit is less than three. Other that is left and developed. Uh, they have got modern houses, as we can see here. Uh, looking at them, uh, they are they're educating. They were developed the other day because the roofing style, the hip style, uh, tells you when the time zone when it was developed. And as you look at that house there, uh, that's an old house. The kind of roofing tells you the time the time frame when it was uh, constructed. And uh, as we we will be told by one of our residents here, he will tell, tell us the time frame when uh, this place was occupied by the tenant, uh, by those people who bought this land, uh, or the smaller quarter of an acre or one eighth of an acre. Uh, those who had the resources were able to buy several of them. And uh, as we have seen, uh, this place uh, uh, con uh, is composed of the people who bought several plots uh, than one and they have developed them or they have fenced off like this person has has already uh, surrounded his uh, property with a stone wall and seem to have uh, more than one um, they almost like three plots uh, he seem to be a very lucky person I bought such huge land here in Kenya, especially Kenyatta Road. This is this was the millions. Um, those plots uh, will be more than a more than a hundred thousand dollars, more than hundred thousand uh, dollars, because one one here will cost about that five thousand uh, USD. And see, this is an old house. Uh, the people developed, they came here earlier to develop. The kind of roof can tell you where the time frame. Uh, that house is a bungalow. Most of the people who came here early, they had the bungalows and they only roofed their houses with the iron sheets. That's another developed property here. Uh, well developed. Uh, the owner have developed, uh, have roofed the hip style. It doesn't seem to be old house. Uh, it, depending on the the taste of the owner, uh, even if uh, the trading style uh, is a flat roof, but uh, people have their own choice of whatever they want to develop. Uh, here again, you have the exotic trees here, growing and generic trees. Granted, it have got a big compound, big, big compound. There are also several, several plots in there. Uh, he bought several plots here, so he has, he's lucky. Uh, the building, though not completed, it's, uh, it seems to be in use. And uh, we have seen another person here. He had constructed uh, a kiosk here, but it's not, it's not, it's a kiosk. It's a kiosk here. Uh, this is a kiosk here, as you can see it. As you can see the kiosk here, uh, but it's not functioning now. I don't know why it's not functioning, but generally in this place, they discourage any businesses carried out here uh, because on the road, on the tarmac side, uh, there are shops that have come up, so you, the person who is whose property touches the tarmac road, uh, he's encouraged to have it. Uh, he can have it as a commercial, ha having a shop or anything they want to do, but not inside the estate. But uh, as I told you earlier, the rules to be followed here uh, came later after some people uh, some some people had settled. So when they settled that particular time. There were no rules uh, telling them what kind of development they should have here. So they came and started to do whatever they wanted. But when rules came, uh, this to be purely residential area, uh, quietly, uh, even those who had started businesses, this, they are sort of were discouraged and they don't take place now, uh, except one or two, but not too much of it now. Uh, here again, they have got uh, property. 
this for the avenue again is uh, people have got huge huge properties here again more, more than a some have almost uh, um, uh, a quarter and uh, more than a quarter going towards uh, a half of uh, our neck uh, you can you can see the development uh, of trees uh, they are mature trees as you can see uh, behind me those are mature trees uh, telling you the time they were planted here so it's many many years uh, ridges of uh, early early nineties, mid nineties, or even some could have uh, could be in uh, early uh, nineteen uh, nineteen eighty nine, eighty five or so. Uh, so they were able to buy good land because you see, as the neighboring people had many acreages, so if those plots. Uh, you could feel you want more so to, to near them but not to match them and that's why this place uh, is this uh, much uh, spaced have got space if, even the road is uh, well it's big enough uh, the vegetation here tells you these people came here early and developed seriously they were turning it to be their residence and uh, they were happy with it so they liked it and uh, they are lucky to have that land i told you in, uh, in the other vlog that they were either fortunate or they were lucky i don't know whether you believe in people being lucky or, or they had foresight the people who had foresight they have seen this place will, will develop because in those years nobody knew this place will grow uh, it was only those people with the thick skin came and developed or built a house here because of of security. Not only that, there were wild animals here. So it was not easy to settle here and unless you are well prepared and uh, or had resources. So you can see, you, you are not even able to see the wall. You can see the kind of flowers they have grown here, like Boganfelia, uh, flowers here plants are here and we can see there are a lot of mature trees around uh, this is a place it's a good good place so you can see the plantation both sides hey this place this, this is the this is where we call where these people hide where are people, where are these people hide? Where, where, where? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> the development here is out of, is out of this Kenyatta road. Oh, 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 oh. Where, where, where? The trees, the flowers, the types of gates. Hey, 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 hey. Where, 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 where? Is this place is, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Very few. Ford Avenue. It's a wonderful place. Well developed. And they have got huge tract of land. By huge I mean more than one plot. <laughs> more than one plot. Uh, because I'm used to our one plot property. And uh, more so maybe two plots but not as many as they have and also they seem to be have got a bigger land here because uh, there's they seem to be 100 50 by 100 plots here so you can imagine uh two plots as exactly a quarter an acre another plot is giving you almost a three quarter uh, or, or almost going to a half an acre so they have got huge property here and see how the kind of homes they developed they developed Beautiful homes and huge homes. Far if you fall the avenue, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. As Mayuguno says, it's not water or vegetable. <laughs> it's a wonderful place. Oh, wow, 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 wow. 
It's very good and very nice. My friends, my friends, I tell you. Hey, 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 it's good everywhere. They have got fully mature trees and uh, apparatus of them. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, viewers, I love you whoever you are. Thank you for following me. Thank you for the journey we have moved together. You have seen the, the fatty few for the avenue. I'm excited. It's a good one. And it's a place worthy, worthy be in. I did not know it was this beautiful. In fact, since I started flogging around in the my estates, I thought Sonia my estate that was very good, and that was habitable and beautiful. But I've seen the others which are beautiful and excellent and are good. Uh, I love you guys wherever you are. Thank you for being my good and ardent followers. I can see whatever I post, people are seeing it. Some are starting seeing it within the few seconds as I, when I post it. Within one hour, many people are seeing it. And some see it within the course of the day. Uh, because I know we all come from different time zones. Uh, those who could be daytime, maybe you'll see it. Uh, those who will be asleep will see it in the following day. But whatever. A time zone you are you are in. I love you guys, and I wish you all the best. And I keep on telling you to watch because I'll give you authentic uh, videos, uh, videos uh, that has got value, uh, have got good information that can help you and make you understand us better. Uh, that can uh, also inform you. Uh, tomorrow's investments or even your friends and even see the country where you can come and visit. I'm Frederick Dung from Superhighway Estate. I'm frogging today from uh, Fadifu for the Avenue. I love you guys wherever you are. Uh, please again uh, like as you follow me. Uh, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, but it's not an obligation, please. It's not a, an obligation. Uh, you can do as per your will or by your wish. My wish is that you su uh, subscribe, but uh, your will prevail. I could be selfish. <laughs> I like you to to, su to subscribe, but you may not uh, be in a position to subscribe uh, but wherever you are please keep on following me keep on seeing me i wish you all the best as i started saying that you have a good year 2024 be blessed and follow me keep on follow me you are not, you now belong to one team known as friendrick dongo team and i love you wherever you are Bye-bye.